from the shimmer of light in the workshop he felt safe to the broken glass in the streets reflecting her fright desperation can set the stage for acts of villainy and heroes may need to confront that demons in more ways than one for a choice to be made you must overcome the binding and twining of souls of bond so strong it may just keep you Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Arcadia Fallen where we are going back into the flower shop and uh, perhaps continuing the story. It seems like it's the only place we can go anyway. You enter the flower shop and aren't terribly surprised to find Anne already there. You did not, however, expect to find her and Quinn arguing. I just don't understand why you are being so stubborn. The shop will be fine if you leave for a couple of days. I'll even water the plants for you. <sighs> While I would love to see you try your hand at gardening, and This isn't just about the plants, and you know that. I can't believe this. Obviously. This is about your safety. Staying here is a huge risk to you. So why? Because I'm not like you. I'm not going to run away as soon as an obstacle presents itself. Anne looks struck and Quinn winces. Anne, I... I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Anne turns on her heel and leaves the shop, pushing past you without a glance. Quinn sighs and leans against the counter. Well, that didn't go the way I planned. Sorry, you had to see that. Um... Are you alright? Are you okay? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen you snap like that before. Oh. I try to always stay calm in these kinds of situations. But Anne... Aunt she... I care about her a great deal. And sometimes caring means being incredibly angry and frustrated with each other. I'm afraid. It's not the first time we've strayed into this particular argument. I'm not proud of what I said. I'll have to find a way to apologize. Um... So, you two argue a lot then? So... <laughs> Well, of course. We all have our usual friendship quarrels. Who gets the last cookie? Should tea be with or without milk? Stuff like that. But this particular disagreement goes a bit deeper. Anne is such a wonderful person. I fear she can't see the light she could bring to the world. Instead, she hides away in fear taking the safe route she knows. She has her reasons and it isn't up to me or anyone else to decide what she does with her life. But a Letharo's mercy, that doesn't change the fact that sometimes I just want to grab her by the neck and throw her out in the, in the light where she belongs. I mean, I'm sure her reasons are not Quinn's to tell us, right? About that... Actually... Yeah, I understand your curiosity, but it really isn't my place to tell her story. 
I'm sure she'll tell you herself whenever she's ready. Yeah. What about you? Are you okay? How are you handling all of this? You look so calm, but this is a demon we're talking about. What a mess. I'm terrified. No use lying about that. But I trust you, and I trust Anne, even if she doesn't agree with me on this. I refuse to live my life in fear, otherwise what's the point? Hmm. Oh. Do we need ingredients? Um, how's the forest doing? Tell me about... Have you had any time to work on restoring the forest? Actually... I managed to get something together, yes. But I ran into a bit of an issue that's holding me back. Okay... What kind of an issue? Hmm? I need for it to rain. You see, the nutrients in the soil aren't the only thing that was removed by the failed ritual. With no plants left to hold on to it, the water dried out as well. A good rain shower would clear the issue up easily, but the weather has been very dry lately and it doesn't look like it's getting better. So now I'm just stuck here waiting for the rain. I... Mm, do I have a potion for that? This is it. You reach inside your satchel to fetch a vial for Quinn. This should be good enough to water the area. That's wonderful. Oh, I... yeah, I have made some water bombs. That's true. We used to play with these at the academy when we were young. The professors would get so mad. How did I forget? Quinn looks at the vial with a sad sort of smile. That sounds like a happy memory. Really? <laughs> It is. It's weird. I'd completely forgotten. Things used to be a lot more simple when we were still kids at the academy. I can't fault Anne for wanting to return to that time. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. I'll let you know how it goes. So, tell me more about nature magic. Maybe I can use the knowledge in my alchemy? I have some questions. How does it work exactly? Actually... There are several schools of magic that are taught at the academy. Most of them require knowledge and training, but nature magic is a field that requires a more, um, natural affinity. Our souls resonate with the life force of nature, and from that connection, we can pull or push to make things grow or wither. There aren't that many of us, and we who exist usually live a more uh, solitary lifestyle away from our peers. Preferring the company of nature rather than that of other people. Okay, so what? Why solitary? Really? Just imagine. We just connect with nature easier than with people. The flow of magic energy we share makes understanding nature like breathing. It's said nature feels the same way. Plants and trees will grow brighter and higher if a nature mage is near, and even spirits are drawn to us because of this connection. All of which serves to, um, alienate us from our peers, so to say. So, about the other schools of magic. Tell me about... Did you know? 
Oh, well, I'm a nature mage, as you well know. Just as you know Anne to be a tinker mage. Then there are the illusionists, those who specialize in magic that dazzles and entertains. And finally, the menders, those who study the human body and how to heal and cure sickness and wounds. So, Elizabeth needs more ingredients. I wonder... Elizabeth is going to help me brew some wort for your shop, but we need ingredients. Can you help? Oh, you'll love this. Of course, I'll get this for you right away. That should be everything. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was no trouble. Good luck with the potion making. I'll be off then. Take care. Alright, there's stuff at the flower shop or we could go home and make potions. Let's make potions. How did it go? Um, let's make these wards. I'm ready. I see. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. So, this... Oh, yeah. I, I need to see what we get from these two. Have I? I guess I've already tried the lily, but I've forgotten. I thought that was a new thing. That's the thing we get from the sunflower, the uh, symbol in the middle. So... I guess we need that. And then we need the other one that's also in the sunflower. The, uh, the, the yellow one here. And then, was that from the lily or... Whoa, everything with the lily is... No, that's not from the lily. Is it from the rose? It is actually, and it's, wait, it's a volatile one. No, that's, that's not the one we need. It's the other one we need. That one. So this should be fine. Let's see. So, um... Let's mix this. And, um... That. And that. And make. Whoa, look at that! One turn or less and use a volatile ingredient. I think we can do that. Should we go back? One turn or less and a volatile ingredient. So we don't need the lily. Use a volatile ingredient. Um, I mean, we do need this. Use a volatile ingredient. Oh, these aren't volatile. And the only volatile one there is that. Which we don't need. Okay, so we can't do the volatile ingredient thing yet. But we can do... Hold on. 
Is that a volatile ingredient? It turns into a volatile ingredient if we put this here. That's pretty interesting. We only need one volatile ingredient though. Like careful now. Placing ingredients inside the top wheel will reveal empowered ingredients. Mixing three identical ingredients inside the top wheel, where one is an empowered ingredient, will create one singular ingredient. Three identical ones where one is empowered. Okay. But be careful when you attempt to combine ingredients, as empowered ingredients must remain inside the top wheel to maintain their power. Okay, I wasn't going to, I, I didn't mean to. Let's do this. I'm proud of you, dear. Um, so we didn't use a volatile ingredient after all. Um, let's continue. We'll do the volatile ingredient thing sometime later on. Well done. These wards should be enough to keep any demon out of Gwyn's shop. Thank you. Thank you. This will be a great help against Ronan. I appreciate it. I'm glad I can help. Gwyn is a dear friend, and I want to keep them safe as well. Just you be careful as well, alright? I'll be here in case you want to practice your spirit alchemy further. Good luck, dear. Are there any more recipes? Let's check out whether there are more recipes we could make. Welcome back. I'll do it. Like in addition to that one. Oh. Totally forgot that this is... There we go. Headache remedy. Use a volatile ingredient. So I guess we haven't done that yet. Mosquito repellent, a volatile ingredient as well. Eternal sleep. Two ingredients or less. Two turns and two ingredients or less. A volatile ingredient. So there's a lot here. Healing potion, volatile ingredient, glue bomb. Yeah, there's suddenly a lot of stars that we haven't haven't yet obtained. I don't know what we really need these for. Oh, do we need them to unlock more of Elizabeth's story? Is that the thing? Like when we get to a certain number of stars, we unlock more of her story? Maybe. So, we've got a few new potions. Look at the number of ingredients. What? Uh, how do I make one with that many ingredients if we only have... Uh, if we only have like this where the, where the actual potion is mixed. Well, maybe I have to... Um, Oh. So putting it here will reveal empowered ones. That's interesting. And then if you put 
the same three empowered ones here that'll create some kind of a special ingredient. Is that one a volatile one with the rose or... No, I guess maybe it's an empowered one. And they need to stay within this circle to keep keep being empowered. So I'm gonna try something. No, it doesn't work like that. So, like, even if I put the thing that was previously, because it was that one that was an empowered one of these when it was in this circle, even if I um, move it here in the mixing phase, it doesn't become the, the other ingredient. Okay, so cancel that. Let's just focus on making the potions. Oops. Uh, right. So these are... But they require so many ingredients. How do we make these ones that require more than... Oh! Are these... Are these added as well? Or is this just what's here? I think it's just what's here currently. Yeah, these are not. N yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how to make potions that have this many ingredients do them. Maybe... Um, was it about the empowered ingredients? W are the empowered ingredients worth more than one of that kind? Like, is this an empowered ingredient and is it then worth... um? like three I don't know if that's the case then well let's try no fill the top wheel with identical ingredients without removing the empowered ingredient oh so is this the empowered one? Which one's the empowered one? Is it the green one? So I need three of these here. <gasps> Let's try that again. Those were volatile ones clearly, so <laughs> yeah, I guess that was the empowered one. Okay, so let's see. Maybe Maybe let's not put the volatile ingredient from the rose there. Um, and what, we need one more of these on the board. That'll do. Do we actually need the rose at all? Oh. Or this. We don't, do we? We need both of these and then three of these. 
which I guess we can get by creating the empowered ingredient. And that was done by filling the top wheel with the... Uh, so basically all of these need to be on the top wheel. So... <gasps> What's that smell? Didn't realize that, uh... Yeah, the uh, other ingredient was volatile and then I put the same ingredient, yeah. So not only do I have to remember to be careful of not putting two volatile ingredients in here, I need to also be careful of putting like the uh, the same kind of ingredient as the volatile one in here. Uh, let's just use... I mean, we can get the yellow from various different sources, so that's great. Uh, we'll just... And then... Aha! An empowered ingredient is worth three. And now we can make that potion. Another discovery! Flower permanence. Nice. Uh, what were the other ones? That can't be put there, like, at all. I guess this really doesn't have any ingredients that we can't get from other sources, right? Or does it? Isn't that one... This one, that's the volatile ingredient here. Isn't that one one that we can't get from anywhere else? Kinda looks like it is. So, let's see. Uh, what was it that we needed? Come on. Game. Give me the... There we go. So, we need this to be the, um... The, um, the special one. And that can only be got from... Was it the rose? And then we need this. And we need four of those. I guess we kind of need each one. of the possible ingredients to be the special one in turn. Um, let's see if we can get the, the one from the rose. No, it wasn't from the rose. It was from the lily, right? So the volatile one from the lily. We can't put this here though, so how do we do that? Uh... This doesn't have that symbol there. This doesn't either. Uh, nope. Neither does this. But if this can't go there and the other ones don't have the symbol there, then wh what? Because look, I can't put it here. There's gotta be something I'm not seeing here, or maybe we're just missing some kind of an ingredient that has that symbol in such a way that we can put it here. Well, I mean, we need... Um, 
We needed one that had three or like more of those. Um, right, this one. Four of those and then a blue one. So we need to get one more of those into here. <gasps> oh. Mix and then you turn it. So this way and this way and What's that smell? Uh was it a volatile ingredient? It was oh it's the, the one with the green that's the empowered one. So do we have one of those on a green background. Does the rose have n not have any empowered ingredients to it? That can't be used there. That's got that one. How do we get an empowered one of those? None of the plants we've got seems to have it. Does that mean it's empowered? Or does that mean it's volatile? Well, let's try. Um, mix. And... And... Um, Careful. It's, it's volatile. Okay, so I guess we're not making that potion then. Um, what other ones do we have here? We've got that one. That one. Um, this has two of them. And then what? The lily? The rose, the sunflower, huh, more than one sunflower, come on, give me that. Well, I mean, this one's only got a few ingredients. And it's almost... We just need to turn it once. So I guess... Whoa, look at that! Perfect perfume. Uh, what were the... Oh, game. B for collection. Let's see. I may as well just get used to using the B button instead of the one that the game provides for us. So, I couldn't make this happen. Uh, could I? No. That was the one that we could only get from the lily at the moment. And um, and we couldn't put the lily in the uh, in the power spot. And this I couldn't make happen either. We clearly need more ingredients to be able to make some of these happen. Let's see, we need that one in the power spot. So let's see what we've got that puts it... Is it that one? Uh, I think it's the one we get from this. What were the other... It doesn't say that this does it. 
Was it this one that we needed in the power spot? Maybe it was. Can we get it there? So is it just that we we can't make those yet? Yeah, it is that one that we need. Ah, this one. So we should be able to make it using, uh, what was that? That was one of these, right? But it doesn't give the same what gives us this gives us that it doesn't show it as a possibility though over here huh that's weird careful when you add that Oh, that was volatile. Oh, okay then. Maybe that's why it didn't show. We do need that one to be like tripled. And then we need the blue. And was this the yellow? So clearly we do need this here, but this can't be here because this is volatile. Is that volatile? Clearly something was volatile. Oh, is it the rose that was volatile? No, it was that that was volatile. So how do we then do that? If we can't use this. Oh, we need to move that away from there first. <laughs> of course. So, um, let's see. I need to move those to here and then do that and then I need to move the volatile one away what's that smell <clears throat> not in that direction maybe I should just no I need one of these in each of the spots don't I yeah I need it to be there so that I can have the power, powered up ingredient. So I had the right idea. Do that, but then make sure that you move this in the right direction. And then let's see. I just gotta move that like just away. And then do that and uh, do that. Yes. Okay, now we've got this here. So we just need the blue and the... Oh, it's there. Okay, create. Another discovery. Energy potion. It's like coffee, but better. Okay, I don't think I'm going to mess with this any further in this episode. This has already been a long one. But for the future, we've got some more stuff to make. Um, 
I don't know how to get this yet because as I said, we can't put the lily in the power spot, but we kind of need to put it there because uh, the lily is the only one we can get this symbol from at the moment. Maybe we'll get another ingredient that has it later on. And then I didn't notice any ingredient that had this uh, as like a powered up ingredient. Now I guess I could try and make this. We just, we need the yellow thing in the powered up spot. And here we need the blue thing. And this is just three ingredients. I guess maybe I'll um, I'll try the, the yellow and the blue in the powered up spot. Is that a volatile? The yellow and the blue in the powered up. Um, is that? It is the yellow. And it is powered up. I think. Yes, because it has the... This kind of a background. So, we need more of the yellow. That's volatile. Oh, we could make this. Well, I mean, we've got those two. That one's here. That one we can get easily and... Uh... Oh, that's the volatile one. I think this is volatile too, so we can't use this. Do we get this symbol from anywhere other than the rose? Doesn't look like it. No. So then, mm. then we need to get the, this one from somewhere else because we need to use this volatile ingredient so we can't use this one as well. Let's get it from like here and mix and now we just do this. No? Oh, it was the other one. It wasn't the volatile one. I could have used the one from the rose. Oh. Whoa, look at that! Yeah, one turn or less, use a volatile ingredient. I can do that. One turn or less and volatile ingredient. Here's the one turn or less. And then the volatile ingredient and two ingredients or less can be done by just using the rose and the sunflower and then here we want to do this and that well done okay smoke bomb done so it was that symbol that I needed to get powered up. 
What other stuff do we need for it? Uh, so we're making this one. We need the thing from the lily. And then we need the that thing from the sunflower. So we need the lily and the sunflower. The lily. We need the that thing. Actually. And then... Where else can we easily get the, uh... There are a lot, are a lot of ones that have the, uh... That in them. That's volatile, though. Was it that one that we needed? We can't use that because it's volatile. But if we put this here, this one doesn't appear to be volatile. It's on the same color background though. Let's see. Um. Um. I guess. Oh, that's bad. I need to get this out of here, which means I need to get this out of here. Okay, this is not volatile. That's good. <gasps> oh, that messed up the powered up thing, though. I can't do that. So, we need this here, though, because we need that powered up. And then we need the lily. See. And then another sunflower. Uh, let's see. So, we need that one powered up. We need all of these up here. Oops. I'll get this eventually. Um, what did we need for the... Oh, the lily, right. Um, so... We can't put this here. Because I can't, I can't move the powered up thing away from here. Completely forgot about that again. Does anything else have the, uh, that one powered up? This one does, doesn't it? That's, or is it powered up? It's on a green background. But no, it's not powered up because it's not glowing. So... 
so no, I think this is the only one that has it powered up. Are these both volatile? This is difficult. I need a second sunflower, I think. What if I put the sunflower here and the lily here? Um, and then... What's that smell? I meant to turn this wheel. There. <laughs> um... Now it should be safe for me to put that here and then um now it should be safe to put that right is this volatile should i just in case and then I gotta be careful. Oh, can I even do this? It that's volatile. This kind of looks like it might be volatile as well. Um, do I want to test that? Yep. What's that smell? <laughs> it was volatile. So this is taking a lot of thought. How do I do this? Should I do it like this? Now, now I know these are both volatile. Oh, this is complicated. So, this far I'm okay, but hey, if these are both volatile, they shouldn't be able to be in the same, so they aren't both volatile then. But this one is. And this this one is. One of these is. And I've got to move this away from here. And I can't put it into e into either of these currently. There's one volatile thing in each of these. Or is there? Wait, is there? Yes. Careful! Oops. No, it wasn't volatile. It was just the same symbol as... Okay, so I should have moved it from there to... Okay, I get it. W was this where I had the sunflower or was it here? And then I've got the lily... So... Uh, that one's volatile and it's the same as this, so I can't move it into this thing. But I can move this volatile ingredient into that thing. So what I want to do here is I want to do this and... I want to move this like this. So nothing volatile is over here now. And then... Put 
put that there. And uh, move it into here. Now I've got it. And then I just need one of those two to be here. And that symbol to be here too. So basically these two need to be here. Uh, how do I... One of them needs to be here and one of them needs to be here. So this one needs to be up here. So that's done now. And then... Oops. Oh, but I can't move this up there because it's the same symbol as that. So what I should actually do, and I can't move this up there either because it's volatile. Oh. This needs... Yeah, this is, this is gonna be okay. There we go. Another discovery! A feast for fairies! Oh... But I couldn't have had this with me when I met the fairy, right? A tiny potion that will make you feel like you've eaten a feast. Ugh, did it. So I'm ending this episode here. Because, wow, that took a long time. We've still got some things to figure out here, like how to do this. Because this symbol is only found on the lily currently. And if we put the lily into the, uh, the power position, then it blows up. And then this one. Uh, I, uh, I haven't noticed any of our ingredients have this symbol, like as a powered up one. I guess we could make this one. We just need the blue in the powered up position. Then we'll have made everything. Sure, let's make this one. We'll get the blue in the powered up position and then we need the lily and the... I guess we can get this one from several sources, but yeah. We need the lily and whichever has the blue as a powered up thing. I guess it's this one. Because this looks like it's powered up, right? So, then we need the, yep, we need the purple one. And I guess this already kind of has it. It's volatile though. Um, so maybe we'll um, get stuff that doesn't have it. Oh, we needed the lily. We needed the lily. So... But doesn't this one have that powered up as well? It does. It's got two of them and one of them is volatile, I guess. And it's also got this one. So... But it can't be volatile because then we can't have another one of the same symbol there. Oh, I don't know. What did we need? The lily. Is this... Oh, that's the green one. That's the entirely... Oops. Well done. 
Elizabeth looks impressed, okay. You m might be able to ask her more about her past now. I mean, I'd kind of like to it. brew that one more potion. I, I didn't mean to go back. So... Yeah, this is the one that has the blue powered up. And then it's got that symbol too. But like, I guess that's a volatile one. So we should be careful. And then we just need more blue. And uh, this... No, we need the lily. And we need to be careful with the volatile stuff. But... We need the lily. And this is volatile. So that means that we need something else that gives us that symbol. Like this one. So let's see. Um, and uh, is it now safe to put this here? No, it's not. This one has a volatile one. I need to move this to here as well. And then we gotta move that like that. Now it's safe to move this. <gasps> oh, but I I messed this up. So we need the lily. And the rose. And then we need one that's got that as a non-volatile there because this one is volatile so obviously that can't be volatile and we need it in the potion as well um so yeah let's see we need oh but i i messed it up again I need to remember to not do that. So like, um, I'll move it like that so I don't accidentally move this away from here again. And, um, I'll move this away from there so that I can then move this to here. <gasps> Oops. Wrong way. Uh, I have to do this again. Okay, so uh, let's see, I had to do this like so, and then like that, and then like that. That's the correct way. <laughs> And, um, I need the blue ones up there. So... Yeah, I can turn this freely. So now we've got that powered up. And we need the, uh... This one and this one there. So... 
this cannot be here. So we need to do the same kind of thing that we did before. We need to put this up here. Out of the way. And then... And then it should be fine, right? Oh, this can't go up there. So, because this can't be in the same circle as that, and neither can this. So, how do I do this again? I put this here temporarily, right? And then that there, and this here, and that there, and create. Another discovery! Bottomless bottle. Interesting. So I do believe that's all the potions made that we can currently make, or that can I current that I can currently discover or you know see how to make yeah and then we've got some star challenges left obviously but uh it's fine so i think i've done all i can for now and in the next episode we'll start well by done. Uh, we'll start by listening to Elizabeth's story. So we'll ask her how she became the spirit alchemist um, in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again next time.